What's up, everyone? Nakota here, back with another Let's Play of New Tales from the Borderlands. Congrats to the winner of the giveaway, Kid and Chickle Nugget. You earned it by working hard on my channel and um, being active and all that fun stuff. Um, so remember, they're going on this little like Shark Tank type episode, but now they're doing research. It looks like. Fran ain't having it. She don't want to do anything. Suzanne Caldwell. This is adorable. Oh my god. Awkward. Alright, here we go guys. Sink or swim, aka Shark Tank, but Borderlands. Just have fun with it. Right. Got the swag going on. We did it, gang. We're going on sink or swim. You're not going on sink or swim. Oh, come on. All the contestants have already checked in, which means you have no business back here. Move along. Um. Scram. Skedaddle. Go for his gun. Let's cause some drama. Push. Huh? No, it can't be. I thought the COV disbanded. He does not have a gun. I'm confused. I don't know. Listen, kid. You're not getting through this door. As sure as my name is Marvin Baxter. What? Whoa! Louis! What the hell, who? Contract filed by groundskeeper Seymour Sato complete. Marvin kept standing on his grass. So you killed him? He committed an infraction for which someone filed a grievance. On his head. My programming demands I fulfill open contracts. Though it now seems both harsh and gratuitous. I feel... I feel... Shitty? Yes. Contract deposit received. Of course Yay. You, you straight up murk a guy because someone filed the complaint. And for what? A little filthy, degrading blood money. I was planning to share it with the group. Unless you object. I'm gonna accept it. I guess it. it's our filthy, degrading blood money after all. Oh, Look at that. He's dead, isn't he? It's not like refusing is gonna bring him back to life. This is true. I feel my functionality impedes my consciousness. Is capital execution my only purpose? Alas, poor fallen security guard. You serve as a grim reminder to my tenuous sense of self. Conclusion. I shall remain here in Marvin Baxter's stead, if only to uphold his legacy and honor the life I so reflexively extinguished. I'm sorry, old friend. You oh. just stepped on him. Sorry again. Louis. Poor Marvin. Here we go, we're at sink or swim. Okay. Be cool. Act like we belong here. We're totally legit contestants and not three desperate people with a half-baked plan to win some money. Hey, future losers. <laughs> Just kidding, little rib. Look at your faces. This one took it so seriously. No, we're cool. We're cool. We're cool. We're cool. Pierre Palantine, great to meet ya. I don't like you. You're yeah, weird. Same. So, what are you bringing to the sink? Ooh. <laughs> 
You'll see. Uh, <laughs> but you don't want to, like, waste your first pitch on the judges, do you? Come on. Hit me with it. You. Nervous girl. Not nervous I'm girl. I'm your dry rub. Let me see it, at least. Come um, on. Hit me with it. Give me your pitch or I'll kill you. It's a healing game. <laughs> Just joshing. Or am I? Ha! Um, it's a device that heals any injury in a matter of seconds, even from long range. Oh. So it's like a, a bandage beam. Wow. I have to say that is such a bad idea. Wow. What makes you think that this universe cares about healing each other? He has a point. Idealistic much? Yes. What? Oh, nothing. It's just, um, it's quaint. Quaint? Plain, boring looking. Look, I was being polite. Uh, Psycho would have noticed this in a trash heap, let alone a judge. I wanted to see if I had anything to fear from the competition and, uh, update. I don't. You talk a big game. Show us what you brought. Reveal my beautiful product before showtime. Psh. You take me for a patsy, you'll sabotage it. No one's sabotaging your stuff, dude. Yeah, right. Exactly what a saboteur would say. Good luck, chumps. Hope you brought your floaty. Hope you don't mind being frozen solid and smashed to pieces in your sleep. Jesus, what? Fran. What? Have a great show. God, Fran, you are Maybe I should have punched unstable. him in the face, too, just to make sure he got the message. He did have in a very Fran's punchable. Defense, he had a very punchable face. I agree with that. I look at my dad, in my fact, brother, my whole family. I think they have a punchable face, too. Punchable faces. I, I, I punch them in order. Just Stop kidding. I love you guys. Sick burn, sis. Relax. Oh, I'm relaxed. Beyond relaxed. The most relaxed. But between those relaxed moments, I have these not so relaxed micro moments. You know what I mean? Not at all. I do. What if that condescending joke was right? What if the device is too quaint? What if the judges hate our pitch? What if my underarms are too sweaty? I don't smell like science, and I definitely don't smell confident. Ugh, yeah, that's something special. I'm serious. I could really use some of that Octavio swagger right now. How do you always keep your poise? How do you do it? You're so good at just rolling with whatever's happening and talking to people. And I'm give her some decent so advice. Odd. The trick is to imagine the audience naked. Seriously? Yeah, how can you be afraid of someone when they're naked? <laughs> this is true. That's a great tip. Imagine the audience naked. Don't do it now. I'm not. Because I'm your brother. I know. Pitch and public speaking aside. All that stuff Palantine said. We focused on function and performance, which is obviously the correct tactic, right? Uh, uh, but does it need more style? Is our device just... just... quaint? How do I give it, you know... pizzazz? I'm not a marketing person. Um, I'm a scientist. I can't vibe with today's tweens. <laughs> it looks farting, yeah. I like it. It looks Spartan, utilitarian. I do too. But I'm starting to think that won't be enough for a bunch of buzz-hungry, image-obsessed game show investors. I see it in your face. You think we're dead in the water. And now I'm sweating more. Octavio, what do I do? You stay here and try not to sweat anymore. Leave the rest to me. Come on, girl. We got All this. Right, Palantine. You're about to get Octavioed. I'm so afraid All for him. All the usual fare, I see. What is he doing? Okay, so we're going like that. Why oh, would gosh. I touch him? How <laughs> clumsy of me. I'm so sorry. I hope I didn't damage your invention. Nice try, amateur. It'll take more than that to ruin Pierre Palantine. Oh, I'm counting on it. 
You're talking to yourself again. That's a sure sign that you're up to something. What are you scheming and how can I help? Palantine's keeping his invention in his back pocket. You think you can distract him long enough for me to get close and hack it? Pa! Watch and learn, kid. Pierre, was it? Oh, you are a beefcake for sure. The beefiest beefcake that ever boffed. Me? Well, I, I don't <laughs> disagree with you, but... Sha, 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 sha. Don't speak. Your voice is too arousing. Every part of you, all this is arousing. Poor guy won't know what hit him. I love Fran's little French accent. That was my attempt. It wasn't that great. Okay, I need to get 508. Oh, no. Okay. Two, three, nope. Four, five. There we go. Ah, and I need zero. Eight. Six, seven, eight. Here we go. Say to enter back door. Okay. Um, uh, I want. Nope. At least it gives me a million tries, you know? Then spam. Hmm. And now I just spam this. Oh! Get it? Send spam. Spam the A button. Makes sense. That's, I like those little mini games. I know how to do it. Your whole body is a temple to beefcake. How do you live in such a meaty temple? <laughs> Healthy diet, regular exercise, the usual. But as I was saying, I, I am about to lose control of myself. And I think I like it. You're just too much for me to be around, please. Pierre. Pardonnez-moi. What took you so long? I'm sweating from orifices I didn't even know had sweat glands. Okay. We took care. I'm the man. Yeah. Your little bro came through. As always, I've taken care of everything. Um petit poo -poo. You're a lifesaver. Give it here. Give what here? The antiperspirant. To stop me from sweating so much. You said you were going to take care of it and then walked off to get me antiperspirant. Oh, he didn't. Octavio, what did you do? Okay, folks, welcome to Sink or Swim. Yada, yada, yada. We're on in five. I need to get your names to the announcer. Name? Pierre Palantine, future winner. Uh-huh. Name? Dr. Anuradhadar. And this is Octavio Wallistar and Francine Miskowitz. Uh-huh. Okay. You. You're up first. Starting the show off strong, eh? Strap in, chumps. I'm not just a tough act to follow. I'm impossible. Oh, my gosh. He is off. I'm gonna... Fail horribly. Three, two, one. Oh snap, what is this? Please put your hands together for my favorite host and yours, Finnegan W. Triton. Welcome to Sink or Swim, the show where daring entrepreneurs face off for funding from me. Because, well, I'm rich. Now, are you ready to welcome our first enterprising engineer? I know I am. Announcer, tell us who it is. With pleasure, Finnegan. He's lean, he's mean, he's Pierre Valentine. Welcome to the show, Pierre. There's just one question on my mind. Are you ready to... Big fan of the show, Finn, and I'm gonna be an even bigger fan of it once I win it with my incredible new invention! Ha! Kidding. Wonder what it I'm is. Winning, though. Ooh -hoo -hoo. A contestant with bravado. Let's just hope his invention is as impressive as his ego. Finnegan, that's the host. He's the one we gotta impress. What do you make of him? 
I don't know what he's like personality-wise or morality-wise or ethics-wise, but the guy's definitely got style. Him? I don't know. I'm still caught up with where we are right now. The glitz, the glamour. Oh, I want to get on camera and say the F word. Maybe hold Brand. on. Brand. No f promises. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm going to, if I can make it happen, I am. Gladly. It, it, it looks like a ball. Oh, but it is so much more than just a ball. It is something you have to see to believe. I, I believe it's it's a ball. No, it's it's not. It's not activating. <gasps> I've been sabotaged. Sabotage! That's horrible. Who would do such a thing? Someone dastardly and smart. Probably yeah, very I did good it. looking. Also very cool. Okay, you know what? I did sabotage this product. Octavio! And I do it again too, one thousand times. You know why? Because I did it for you. That's love. That is That's love. Sweet. Ethically very wrong, but sweet. Look at Fran. <laughs> She's proud. Here, I would so love to see your invention at work. Since that is literally the point of this show. Unfortunately, your pitch. It's a ball! No, I swear it does more! So much more! Somebody's been tampered with the algorithm! I've been cheated! Swindled! <laughs> Hard swoggled! And since someone's already invented the ball, it's an old idea. And as we like to say here, if your pitch doesn't float... No. Please, no! Wait, do they, like, actually no. die? Oh, God. That's what, what happens when it's oh. No, oh no, what? They literally oh. kill people on TV, and we're worried the about Fran saying the F word. Big futz. You messed with his device. You, you killed him. He woke up alive, crossed paths with you, and now he's dead. I killed him. I killed him. What Why? the hell are you doing? Octavius first kill, Octavius first kill. I'll dunk you in the sharks, I'm an ice cold player. I don't think it counts, kid. Your intent was just to sabotage him, remember? Yeah. So the sharks tearing him apart was, at best, an unforeseen consequence. Yeah? So you didn't kill Pierre Ballandine. Maybe it was manslaughter, but that's a stretch. Fran, shut up. Octavius first manslaughter, Octavius first manslaughter. Why is he so happy about all that? <laughs> oh, that's right. Eat them all up. We're gonna need that tank clean for our next guest. And that's showbiz, baby. Oh, my God. If I fail, if I don't pitch it right, he's going to do that to me! Not if we have anything to say about it. Dr. Anurata Dar, you're up next. Just me? Just you. If the others try to rush the stage, everyone gets dunked. Apparently, we have nothing to say about it. <laughs> Octavio! You're gonna be fine. Just pretend you're pitching to your old boss at Atlas. That's what I did before I came down here! Great! I got fired! Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Anu. Please welcome your next contestant, a delusional, unemployed scientist, neurotic nerd, and a world dingus, Dr. Anu Radha Dar. I'm glad they pronounced no, her name for me. It was awful. And today, Dr. Dar will not only be competing to impress our illustrious host, but may also gain favor with a mystery investor. Can she do it, or does a horrible death await?
trying to get her centered. Gotcha. That's crazy. I mean, the dumb's all over her. Welcome to the show! Are you ready to think or swim? That's not really just a question for me, but also my two trusted teammates. <laughs> no project is built by one woman alone. A and really, aren't we all standing on the shoulders of giants? Whoa, whoa. I don't want your life story. Especially when it might be over so soon. Dang. This salivating Sithid can't wait to get up close and personal with our sharks. Look, we're eating way too much air here. I asked you if you're ready to sink or swim. It's how we begin all the segments. A simple yes would be fine. I'm ready to swim. Oh my gosh, no. Okay, well, now we can start with your pitch. So, you were saying something about a giant ass woman? That's not exactly what I. Great! Amazing backstory. Not at all boring. You're doing great. Right, everyone? Wow. Just breathe. Remember what Octavio said. Make everybody look naked. naked. Yep. Yeah. Oh my gosh, is everybody about to become naked? Hey! Nice dick. Pardon? It's great. Uh, right. Why don't you tell us about your design? For starters, what's it called? Guys, I wish I had a face cam because my mouth, when she said that, just dropped. Um. I don't know what to call it. Um, the Hermes. The Hermes! Oh God, not again! <sighs> I gotta have a talk with my producers. You're ex-Atlas, aren't you? How did you? Well, you started showing Promethea. It's bound to happen, right? But would it kill you people to play a little bit more with the naming convention? Nope. All right. On from name to design. Let's have a better look, shall we? Wow, what a remarkable design. Really, really catches the eye. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> it's definitely not quaint, right? Quit using I quaint. Like it. Quaint is definitely not the word I would use. Well done on creating a not at all quaint looking device. Thank you. So, how does this gun device? Whatever. How does it work? You know, I was once asked that before. It was another pitch, but I was also another Anu. Oh. I appealed to the company's heart, hoping compassion would win the day. But it did not. No, it did not. But now, with experience and friends behind me, I'll tell you how this device works. Well, second time's gotta be a charm, am I right? <laughs> For your sake, at least. I hope. It's science and magic. <laughs> Technically, it's magic. magic. Well, she sounds confident, but that doesn't make any sense. It really doesn't. Science, magic. Smagic. Don't worry about it. You seem nervous, and really bad at this. I agree. I just really don't want to be eaten by sharks. I don't know if this healing beam works on disembowelments. Healing beam? Yes. So, the opposite of a gun? Exactly. <laughs> Finally, someone gets it. Huh. Pass. What? Why? He's gonna what? sink her! He's gonna sink her! This laborious soliloquizing absolutely destroys the pacing of our show. But what can I say? I like holding people's lives in my hand. Watching the last light of hope flicker from their eyes as they realize their project, <laughs> their life's ambition, 
has failed to carry water. He's a because douche. Here swim, we live and die by our ideas. And if that idea doesn't float, thank you. Oh my gosh, no! Get it! I gotta save her! I got it! I got it! Oh no! No! That ain't gonna happen! Oh snap! Go, friend! Didn't know that she could do that! Come on, friend, save her! Straight for the shark circling on you. They're about to get a serious taste of this. Are they? There we go. We're about to find out. Bam! A haymaker to the shark face. Beautiful. Behind you. Oh, it's the uppercuts and throws. I'm going to watch it. That is so metal. Why can't we see it? Come on! What? She got a shark in a headlock! And now he's using it as a meat shield! Oh my god! She's swinging it around to knock away the other sharks! And now he's just punching it senseless! And punching it! And punching it! Octavio, you're amazing. Oh no! She tore in its eye! Oh, the shark manity! The sharks are swimming! Skrrr! He's insane. What kind of finishing move could she even? Oh, oh that was a little tricky. She ripped the thing right off. Oh my gosh. And ate it? How do you even eat something underwater? There's blood. There's so, so, so I see blood. blood. Just an inexcusable, obscene amount of blood. Ah, there we go. I do it as fast as I can, but he's just standing here and like but he doesn't yes, even know what's happening. She's done it. She's got Anu and she's coming back. Up. I don't think she is, dude. Oh my god, I don't think she's coming back. Come on. I'm okay. I'm okay. Oh my god. I'm not okay. I'm not okay. Well, you know what? We're about to show them how it works. That is her leg. Thanks. Okay. I've been lifting. <sighs> oh, no. That's oh my gosh. I loved your pitch. I, you, I really didn't. Really solid stuff out there. You hit all the marks we went over in practice. Just a bang up job. Yeah, it felt good up there. It should have, because it looked good. I mean, if I had a million dollars, I would invest the hell out of you. Thanks. Use the healing gun. Should I Damn. do mouth to mouth? I think that's only when people stop breathing. I'm going to do mouth to mouth. I'm still breathing. We need Oh my something. god. Something else. Give her Anu. Wake up. Well, Stay grow her us. leg back. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. It's no use. She said something else. Something else. I hate to break up this beautiful ratings moment. But didn't you rejects bring a healing gun to the show? He's right. right. We can use the device. We don't even know if it can reattach limbs. Well, right now is a pretty great freaking time to find out. Oh my gosh. Come on, heal. It's working. <gasps> Thank you, 
magical healing gun device. Hey, Anu. Me half to death. Are you feeling faint? Sure, you don't need a little mouth to mouth? I am the vessel torn asunder. Harmonic vibration seeking resonance. What? So to know, then? Anu? You got Finnegan on the phone again. Well, sir, I might have an offer for you if you'd be so kind as to entertain it. Oh, yeah, sure. Let me just take you off speaker. Oh. Well, that's interesting. Yes, that would be quite agreeable. <laughs> well, well, well. Ladies and gentlemen and enemies, we have a sink or swim first. Now, despite me passing on your little anti-gun, you three have attracted the attention of an angel in Yay! I don't know what that means. Let's do it. Who is it? Who, who cares who? How angelic are we talking? <laughs> Announcers, tell them what they've won. These lucky three contestants have just won one million dollars in someone else's money to fund their business. Ooh, got an achievement. You're you rich now. Fantastic. What a roller coaster. That's our show, everyone. We'll see you here next time on Sing or Swim. All right, look at that. Now that we're hit, here's what I'm thinking. You, me, spin-off show. We call it Octin' Around. I you love know, it. My name's Octavio. I eat at expensive restaurants with supermodels around the... Don't push it. All right, guys, I think that's a good place to stop. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, favorite, follow me on everything. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.